The scrubber tank is the main reservoir for the recirculating process water that cools and cleans the system exhaust gases. As the tank collects a large volume of water, some carbon solids and debris settle to the bottom of the tank and periodically need to be removed. To clean the scrubber tank, ensure MAGS is turned off from the HMI screen. Refer to the overview screen and note the reading of AT541, which is the process water pH level. If AT541 is outside the 6 to 9 pH range, you must completely flush and refill the slightly corrosive water in the scrubber tank by pressing Maintenance, press to start scrubber flush. Wait until the HMI instructions are displayed to refill the tank by pressing the check mark on the screen. Verify AT541 is within the 6 to 9 pH range before proceeding. If not, repeat flushing the scrubber tank until it is within this range. When AT541 is within the acceptable pH range, press Maintenance, press to start scrubber flush. Wait until the HMI instructions are displayed. The system will automatically drain 95% of the scrubber water. Place a bucket below hand valve HV500 at the back of mags. Remove the drain plug by hand or with a wrench. Open the hand valve to drain remaining water into a bucket. Close hand valve HV500. Replace drain plug by hand or gently with a wrench. Loosen the sanitary clamp and remove the cleaning port cover. Wearing personal protective equipment, remove solids from the bottom of the tank. Replace the cleaning port and gasket and reinstall the sanitary clamp. To prevent water leaks during the refilling process, double check that the sanitary port is properly installed and secured before proceeding. Press the check mark on the HMI display to refill the tank. Press the check mark on the next screen to complete the scrubber flush and return to the maintenance page. Load sludge, particles, and cleaning rags from the cleaning process into mags. Be aware that unfiltered process water is high in particulates, dissolved solids, and free oil. Dispose of dirty water safely and per the waste disposal regulations.